All right, so we are at Roadkill Nights with Alex Taylor. Hi. Alex Taylor is just a standing guy. But I'm just a standing guy. Either way, Roadkill Nights. So we got the Durango here. We drove it in. We are not sure how we're all going to get in and out of this parking lot to make passes, but I'm sure someone smarter than me has figured out the way. And the street is over there that we're going to race on. We're not sure what the Durango is going to do with 2.0's parts in it. Literally, it does not have a test hit on it. It has one semi burnout that I did pull it into M1 last night. So that's. That's what we got. So our first pass is going to be try and learn something. So here we are. AFX is over there on the other side. So we're going to turn that down, hopefully try and keep it off the bumper for a couple test passes. And uh, we'll see how the day goes. We are at Roadkill Nights, Saturday morning. Um, everyone is showed up to the pits. We are parked over here, just tightening some bolts up. And um, then we have a driver's meeting in a little bit. I think we're going to be able to get some test passes in before racing starts. Um, the beginning of a very exciting day. Welcome to the new concrete road. It should be interesting, a little bit different than the old asphalt road. I feel that it should be a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, not sure if we're going to get to go before the rain or not, but they did just call Group 4 up. So we're gonna up there, get them high, and hope we get the run before it rains. for a little bit now it's not but there's lightning coming so we got up to the lanes and now we got to go back and wait it out they do send everybody back to the pits Can't wait till we get the windows to actually work. So when's the AC going in? So uh, AC's coming up shortly. So the AC happens at the exact same time as the windows. So it's old school AC. And actually, in here you get 60/40 because we do have four windows. So right, 60 miles an hour, four windows down. I don't know. Two hours later. Like it was a pretty good run. Got a little, whatever, started heading towards the center, got out of it, pedaled it, and went straight from there. So, oh, same tune up in it. We'll see if it'll do better next time. But whatever.
in second. So I backed up and I redid it again. And then it's like it did the burnout, but then it's like it didn't, it's like it didn't shift. So, but I don't know if I just didn't hold it hard enough because the sound's different to me. And like, I thought it was spinning and not going and shifting. Like, or was it blowing through the converter? Like I fucking have no idea. didn't move at all so did it spin right at the head yeah okay because it's like i don't know if it's spinning or right. no it's, it's me like it it's blew all the tire off it didn't even try yeah so then i'm like and then i look and it's like well it's not shifted either so like but it shifted in the burnout so that's where i'm like well was it just me and then i was it was loud so then i'm like well i'm not even i didn't even make it to the shift point i don't even freaking know I'm like but it felt like it didn't fucking move so it, it did it just blew the tire up. That's what I thought. So, but it's like with a new car, you fucking don't. Yeah, know you don't know anything. I don't know what happened. You don't know like, what to expect. You don't know what it feels like. So. All right. Well, that was the first anything with the Durango. Like literally, we got it started yesterday. Drove it to M1. I did a small burnout at M1 with it, and that was it. We got it here today. So going up there. Didn't know what to expect, so that's the first burnout. So I did try a normal second, a two-three burnout. Um, that didn't work, so I backed it up, redid the burnout with a first. So then I got the burnout right, so it actually did a burnout. But then when I went up there, like he's downloading the data, like the data, I felt like it spun right off the hit. But I mean, maybe it just hooked the tire hard and it just loaded the engine down. I mean, because once again, I mean, we got a converter that is designed for 2.0, for a 5,000 horsepower twin turbo deal. So putting it into a 1,500 horse Whipple deal, whole different category. So gonna look at that. Tire pressure was higher because I didn't even have a starting point because once again, no runs. So um, I did seven, eight just as a pick, but I think that once I see the data, but more than likely I'm gonna drop all the way down to six, five on the tire pressure because, well, if it dead hooked, then I'll drop the tire pressure down to 6.5 to try and get some wheel speed with it because I feel like that's the solution there. If it dead hooked, it goes against what I think it did, but we'll see what it is. So dead hook, spin, yeah, I don't know. I'm confused, but either way, we hopefully are getting one more try at it, so I got to go grab some ice, ice it up, and get ready to get it back up there.
feel for the track and it's, it's fun. Now that's a good idea. Yeah, so top eight, big tire, top eight, small tire. So he made it, Dave and Joe, uh, they're all in there. So I did not turn on the intercooler, but it was kind of a saving grace in all of this because I figured out that the intercooler lid can appear to be down and latched, but not actually be down and latched. Aiden actually figured it out. Well, yeah, Billy figured out how it looked latched, but it wasn't latched. And uh, Aiden figured out that it really can positively latch. So um, if you just push it down and then turn it, it actually latches. So basically what happened is that the it left good and then the intercooler lid flipped open and water spilled out, hit the belt and slipped the belt. So I lost boost, gained boost, lost boost. So that's why to me it felt like uh, like it was almost hitting a boost cut. So but um, Intake air temperature never made it above 150, so like shit, I run over 400 and some. Well, I won't tell you how hot some of the intercooler or some of the intake air temperatures we run, so we melt stuff. But they're doing the chip job, and uh, we'll see how it all goes. There's a little. It was ladies first. I hope you weren't off. No, no, I want to go first. Small tires first. They're getting maybe suited up, ready to go. Hey, Aiden, you got this. It's a little. So we, we make you guys pass the test one. now. Bet you know that was inside of the helmet, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a test, I'm sorry. Got him on the leave and then whatever. I was starting to dip towards the cones and I was steering away. I was trying to drive out of it and it kept going towards and he sort of passed me. So I didn't pedal it at that point. He's already passed me so there was no point in doing anything stupid. So I just got out of it and ghosted down because he had more power than me. So he won fair and square, but whatever. Chip draw for our first and only round of Menti racing. <laughs> One round because of the rain delay and all that, that good stuff. But then uh, the mentors get to run and Tom said that he, well he can't even fit in the car really, so he said if I want to I can run in the mentor race as well. But they said we're gonna start uh, hot labbing us, so we'll see. The sick bastards are here, Tom Daly. The master of Sick Week and Sick Magazine is here with EJ, and they're going to be running an altered wheelbase little car. It's pretty cool. It looks like an old altered wheelbase funny car circa 1965, but it's slammed on the ground. Of course, it'll get powered. What's Herman's mentor's name? Mentee's name? Lee? 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 Like Lee Thomas? Lee? Lee. Lee. So it's EJ and Lee. All these people, like I don't know if like the new generation just is tired of words for names, but like they just drop down to how few letters can they have to, and let's still have a name. So, but, so we got five letters racing against each other, EJ and Lee. But we'll see how it goes. We did leave it on the lower tune up because we do not want to oil down the track. So it should be a nice street, straight and clean. Um, she did a great job last round with the little wiggle to it, um, letting off at the right time, getting back into it at the right time. So that was all perfect. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, the car's got a couple wheelies under its belt and that's the first time it actually went almost under power down the track. So we'll see what happens.